Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. Um, everyone's asleep, so I figured this is the best time to go ahead and show you my thrifty haul that Obs and I did today. I did take a couple short videos while we were there. We visited a place called the East Bay Depot for Creative Reuse, and it is a thrift store type of place where businesses and people can donate um, boxes, bottles, wine corks. I mean, you name it, it's there. And um, it's an awesome place, you guys. It is like a thrift store for crafters from paints to films to glass to stamps to fabric, kids games, maps, I mean, I'm telling you, this place is just packed with thrifty, crafty goodness, and it's perfect. Um, I mean, it says it all in the name, right? Depot for Creative Reuse. So, yeah, that's me. So, and their prices are just, like, unbeatable as well. They're so great, and if there's no price tag, they're just like, what do you want to pay for? What do you think it's worth? So, I mean, it's really fun because it's just to kind of, my dog is, like, going through the bag. It's just to kind of give teachers and um, artists and crafters a place to kind of go secondhand and use things that others might throw away and create cool things with them. So I'm really happy to have found that place and it's in Northern California and it's in Berkeley. So if you're from the Bay Area or you're around this way, you have to check it out, especially if you're a thrifter. So anyways, I'm just going to show you the things that we picked up. Um, and you are not going to believe, not going to believe. Well, I guess if you, if you watch the video, you will believe, but, or you already know what I found, but others that haven't seen my video today and had a sneak peek at what I picked up. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. So of course they reuse bags as well. So that's the Trader Joe's bag that they put all our stuff in. So I found this, um, clear stamp set and it's so cute here let me see if I can put a backing on it so you can see it better it says hey diddle diddle it has a cow jumping over the moon um a dish and a spoon running away right here so cute baba black sheep jack and jill super cute right patty cake and humpty dumpty and it's brand new I mean, it has no staining, and um, both sides of the package is there. So this was $2, which isn't bad. Um, and then, sorry for the glare. And then we picked up also in the stamping section, I like this um, hat box, and I plan on paper piecing it. So, so I got it. It's fairly large. It's maybe about 3 inches and it's in pretty great condition. And then this one doesn't have an image on the front, but I saw it from the back and it's like a film reel. I thought that was pretty cool too. So, and this one's even bigger than that one, so. And then I found this small snowflake punch and this was a, um, oh actually, this is the only one with a tag, so these two stamps and this punch they gave to me for $2. So that was pretty cool for $2. And then um, I picked up a stack of these square fabric scraps in like a really bright sunny yellow and then of course, you're not going to see the true color of this, but it's like a bubblegum, dark bubblegum pink, I would call it. And um, I plan on using the yellows to make some flowers for Aubrey's party for like the decorations or party favor. So you'll see how I reuse these. And I got that stack for a dollar. And then, um, I th oh yeah, wait, I got one more scrap piece of fabric and um, it's a very like baby blue type of faded um, baby blue. It looks like a linen, 
but it's softer. So it's almost the same material that I made my white shabby chic flowers out of for um, Ella Manaya, who's Lori, for her bookmark challenge. So I like that because it's a very shabby color. But you guys, what I'm most excited about... <sighs> Drum roll, please! Dun, 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 dun. This, I did not believe it, okay? Like, when I first saw it, I'm like, oh my god, a wishing well. I was so inspired and blown away by Betty, who is Scrap Passion 01, when she did the... I said scrapping divas in my while I was at the store, but it's the Scrapping Queens of 2013, and it's Betty. And Betty altered. Um, it's the spring cleaning, I think, challenge where you had to use what you had. And Betty altered a wishing well. And you guys, the this one, this exact one that I found today is the exact same wishing well that she used. I pulled up the video just like five minutes ago just so I can like have it, you know, for inspiration and make sure that I do change mine up, um, you know, compared to hers. So I will look back on that as I um, periodically as I alter mine. And I like my like jaw dropped because how rare is it that you you know, especially thrifting, okay? She got hers at a Goodwill. And, you know, when you see something like that, you're like, oh, what an awesome find, right? Like, how am I ever going to find something like that? So when she did that project, when she posted that, but like a month ago, maybe even more, I, I was like, please, universe, stars align. I want a wishing well. I need to find one. And no, like, no joke, every time I go to, like, a thrift store, I'm like, please, like, let's go to, like, the novelty, you know, like, collectors, like, area and see, because this is a very interesting and, you know, unique piece, and I really thought that Betty found, like, a one-of-a-kind, you know, item, and so when I saw that video, I was like, wow, how awesome, <laughs> I'm so excited, I'm, like, shaking, because I'm laughing, because I'm so excited, but, um, I, I can't wait to alter this, Betty, and thank you so much for your tutorial on how to make the little bucket, um, and just being so inspiring, and thank you, universe, for aligning the stars and making me spot this, and you guys saw where it was in my video. It was, like, on top of, like, a really tall shelf, like, close to the ceiling, and I happened to look up, and I was like, oh, I want that, and I'm... My plan is to, um, oh, I didn't even say it. It's for Tammy, who is SS Crafter 1. It's for her challenge, her thrifty haul altered item challenge. And so, Tammy, this is part one um, where you wanted to see where, where we picked it up. And I got this, you guys, for $2.00. Isn't that crazy? There was no price sticker on it. And so she was like, this is interesting. I think $2. I'm like, oh, awesome. So what and what I ended up doing was, um, I think our total was like, like $11, $12 or something like that. What else did I pick up? Because it shouldn't have been that much, but I don't know. And I just gave her a 20 and I said, the rest, um, keep the change. The rest you can donate um, because I... I thought it was just such an awesome place and of course I need donations, you know, so um, I just wanted to give back in a way. So I'm so excited to be altering this for Tammy's challenge. So you guys play along. Um, it just started last week. So yay. And thank you again, Betty, for showing this and making me want it so badly that now that I have it, I cannot wait to alter this baby. So stay tuned, you guys. Um, I will be posting my after video of what I did with this wishing well. So have a great night. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.